Hey guys, this is Henry from Alvidia again. Today we're going to keep working on audio editing in Studio One. So on our previous tutorial, we demonstrated how to edit audio in Studio One using the bend markers. Now, we, we did that on a single audio track, okay? So we really didn't care that much about face coherency. We're going to take this to the next level, and we're going to apply the same methodology, the same procedure, but we're going to apply it to a multi-track um, scenario. In this case, a drum set. Okay, We have a kick track, a snare track, and a stereo overheads track. This is key here. This is really important because we're, we're going to be demonstrating a method that will let you edit okay, and basically apply the same time stretching that we did before, but we're going to, we're going to maintain, we're going to preserve the phase coherency between the tracks. Now before we start this, you want to make sure that you have your uh, drum tracks grouped. In my case, I have a, a group called drums that I can uh, verify if I go here to mix. You can see my groups here. And you want to make sure that your group has the editing function um, enabled. Okay, so basically any editing you apply to any of the tracks will happen to every single one of them. Okay, so they've been grouped into a drums group right now. Okay, so um, I have a one bar, one measure uh, drum part that has basically contains uh, eighth notes. Okay, it's pretty much eighth notes, kick and snare. And um, I'm going to press play so that you listen um, how off this was from the actual grid. You can actually see it uh, visually. You can see how, how far the transient. Uh, how far they are from the actual grid, okay? So let's just press play so we can listen. Okay, so pretty obvious, right? So, um, we're going to start now. Uh, just as we did before, uh, we basically, um, with our arrow tool, we're going to click on any of the audio events. In this case, we have three audio events. And since they're they're grouped, when you click on one of them, all three get selected, and we're going to open our audio bend uh, menu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and analyze using the standard mode. And as you as, as I said before, by default the threshold will be set to 80%, and it should capture most of what we need, which is here: kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Okay. Um, we are working. In this case, these kicks and snares, most of them are uh, on the quarter note, okay? And uh, we want to make sure that our time stretch is set to drums. And here in action, we're going to go quantize. We want to go back to our quantization menu and make sure that um, our um, quantization is set to grid and the note value uh, we can we can do either quarter note or eighth note. Now, um, in this case, the the bend markers that Studio One created they are the they're very close to quarter notes to one two three these four quarter notes. So let's just go ahead and select quarter note straight feel a hundred percent. Okay, so we go back to our audio bend and we press apply. So check this out. Um, Studio One created the bend markers and then it stretched and compressed wherever it needed to in order to align them to the nearest, um, in this case, quarter note. Now, let's zoom in because I, I wanted you to check something out here. Check this out. In this case, okay, here it's kick and snare and overheads at the same time. You can see how there's a difference between the snare, where the snare transient starts, and where the kick transient starts. That difference, it's the 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 original phase difference that my kick and my snare had. Okay, I'm not 100% perfect, so I can't, you know, playing the kick and snare exactly at the same time. It's not perfect, so it's not it's not it's probably not possible, and therefore there's going to be a phase difference there. Now. The importance of this method is that that phase difference was preserved. Okay, if I go ahead and restore, but before I do that, just 
let's let's see this. You can see there's there's this difference. This is the phase difference. Okay, from where the snare transient starts and where the the kick drum transient starts. If I go back and basically just restore this, yes, this transient they're going to be moved back to where they were, but this difference from kick and snare it's going to be preserved. And let's give it a shot. There it is. You can see. It's now there. It's the same difference. So the phase, uh, the correlation between those two stays the same. That is crucial when you're editing multi-tracks. So let's do this again. And one more thing. As you can see, this one, that's good. That's good. That one is good. Now the first one, this wasn't um, dragged that well to the, to the grid mark. So we can do that manually just by selecting our bend tool and then just dragging it there, okay? Now, a couple of things. Um, and I'm gonna change my grid to eighth notes because uh, when you heard the, sorry, that's eight triplet should be just eighth notes there. When we listened to, it was kick and snare and, and you know so on and so forth, but I would play the hi-hat in between. So these, this is a hi-hat there. You can see, actually, if I zoom in, on the waveform, you can see there's a hi-hat there. There's another hi-hat here, hi-hat here. Those are eighth notes. So you might want to use your bend tool to create a bend marker there. Create it there. And then I'll drag it so it goes straight to that eighth note. And I'm going to do that also on this one. Create the bend. Create the bend marker and then drag it. And here's another one. Create the bend marker and then drag it, there it is. And here's the last one, um, snap off. Create the bend, snap back on, and drag it. And at this point, um, all my down, my, um, you know, all my kicks, snares, and hi-hats, they've all been aligned to the nearest grid mark. In this case, uh, they're pretty much eighth notes. So if we press play, theory, it should sound pretty tight now. Let's see what happens. There it is. So we just demonstrated how to edit multi-track audio um, in Studio One using our bend markers and our audio quantization features. Once again, the importance of this method is that the phase correlation between your tracks was preserved, okay? So, um, at this point, you're encouraged to, to repeat this procedure with more tracks. Like, uh, chances are, in, in a real scenario, you're going to have kick, maybe snare top and bottom, maybe a couple toms, overheads, and maybe even room mics. So, this method is going to be extremely, extremely powerful and helpful um, during your sessions. I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.